everybody, welcome back to another episode of I Am I. My name is Joshua Ansley, and today I want to talk a little bit about a relationship between uh, action and intention, or thought and action, right? Which is a huge concept and can go on forever, but today I want to talk about the understanding of a little bit of maybe interdependence between thought and action. So, as always, I'm working into a space that is not black and white. It's not just black and white. So even thinking it's not black and white is black and white, right? Because there are black and white and also gray. Right. So interdependence is saying that it's where where I want to work into is the idea that Sorry, I have some distractions and I'm easily distracted. Yeah, my thoughts are easily distracted from my action. Um so looking at understanding that we can possibly do the right things for the wrong reasons and the wrong things for the right reasons. Now this is using this duality of right and wrong, right? So it's, we have to understand that duality too. And what this idea of what we're working in is right and wrong, right? So that there is a, but there's a separation between action and intention. So I can actually do something for a selfish reason that is actually going to be beneficial for maybe more people, right? But maybe I was doing it for a selfish reason, but it winds up being beneficial. So then my, my intention was actually for something just for myself, but it winds up benefiting a whole bunch of other people, right? So then is that like a wrong action? It's no, it's just a, a right action, quote unquote, right action, let's say a good action, for with, with a wrong intention, right? <clears throat> and vice versa, so we can have, uh, you know, the, the right intention, but take a wrong action. If you wanted, if you're just trying to help, like how many times is that, right? Just trying to help the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So that we're trying to help and trying to do something about what, what, you th what we think is best, right? So what we think is best, but we don't actually know. So we have the right intention. We really actually want something to be done for somebody, but we don't, but we wind up taking this action that is actually harmful. <clears throat> and there's a lot of layers to that. So what we think we know is best is because we only have our own personal relationship and our own understanding. And it all comes back. The same teaching that has really helped me out in this is that always understanding that we are not the mind. The, the, the teaching of the koshas, which I did a, a, a vlog on a long time ago. I don't know how loud that is, but I hope it's not too distracting because it's pretty freaking distracting to me, but I'm impatient and I gotta get going. So, um, so recognizing that I'm not my thoughts and I'm not, you know, these feelings that are created by the thoughts give me freedom to actually be able to discern more so that I'm not actually working into a right and wrong, but it's so that there's not an overall right and wrong so that there's a, a uh, this entire idea of, I feel like I used to be able to speak more eloquently and had like a bigger vocabulary and shit. Now I just can't find words to, for anything. But um, so the idea that something would entirely be wrong in the first place is, it's saying that in action itself, in the black and whiteness of that, that an action in itself can be wrong. And I've talked more, I've talked before about the ethical relativism, right? Like if you want to understand that a plane is gonna crash into a building with 5,000 people in it, do you shoot down 250 people or the trolley, you know, analogy that uh, somebody spoke to me recently about, you know, an understanding, do you kill five or do you kill one, right? And, and then can you take the value of one life more than others? But we just do the best we can in each individual moment from our limited understanding. But this is actually going out to trying to understand that we are beyond our understanding, that we are beyond our limited understanding. And that space moves out outside of black and whiteness, right? So that we, but all we can do in each particular moment, now we understand there are certain actions that are going to be more beneficial than others. So there is some degree of recognizing that a, a good action, being of service or something like that. But if you're only being of service and you're not including these other reasons or looking at why you're being of service, there's three constituents to an experience in life. And I've talked about this before too, but I don't know, like three years ago. I'm always afraid of like repeating myself, which all I do is repeat myself and I don't repeat like really strong fundamental things at times. But so it's the stimulus coming in and then it's you and then your reaction, right? So if you're only taking care of your external actions, that is going to change your life dramatically, 
It's going to be beautiful if you can start changing the action that you are taking, right? And I say reaction, but really it's we're, we're moving into being an actor, not a reactor, because in this space it is actually a reaction to some external stimulus, right? So if you, regardless of the way you're actually feeling inside about it, the reaction you have internally, but you just take action anyway, in some of the programs, I mean, they call it smart feet, like just get to a meeting, right? Like just even if you don't want to, right? Or like I talked about last week with Mother Teresa and doubt. It's moving beyond your doubt and understanding that doubt is in the mind and just taking that action anyway. And that is beautiful. That will absolutely change your life if you can learn to take this action, if you can be of service and recognize that people are going to be, you're going to get things back, not from necessarily being in a selfish space, but if you are acting selfishly, you can take selfish service and just try to get something from your service because you will get something back from it. Right? The best kind of service, as I've talked about before, is where both people benefit. So this idea that selfish, that service is selfish is actually just black and white too. Right? But to understand, to discern, to step out, and so we might be able to take this action for the wrong reasons, but really the most benefit and the most good is going to happen when we change ourselves. Right? So that when we align our intentions and our actions, so the action can be a positive thing even though we're in a negative space, or we can be in a positive space and the negative action can be taking place. But really the best place we're going to get to is when we align our intentions and our actions, right? And that's where it's really beautiful. But that's not always necessarily easy and it's not always possible. It's not always the best thing, right? Because we don't, we don't know. That's where it's like our intentions then might be taking us to what everybody in the black and white world is going to consider to be a good action because we are good people and we're doing good. But that, you know, somebody, some people would perceive taking the dog out back. If you didn't know that the dog was suffering dramatically and you just saw somebody taking the dog out back and, 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 you know, taking, I don't know what, the, I didn't have a good euphemism and fucking shooting it in the head, right? Then you don't have any understanding that that's actually the best action that is being taken. And we only understand from our limited understanding, and I can guarantee you that this level of work that I've been talking about for the last three years of this vlog, three plus years of this vlog, will completely transform you if you work on this on a regular basis. You will be absolutely, it's not something that you will do and then finally be done. It's these principles will keep working and you'll get more, more deep. I'm telling you, I just don't speak as eloquently as I used to. Like my mind's not functioning the right way. Maybe because I'm getting out of my mind and I'm getting free from that, those restraints. I am unfettered. So anyway, um, ultimately it may not appear to what is the best action, right? Is the right action, right? So obviously we're gonna be working towards an alignment with our thoughts and our actions because if we're completely unaware then, and we're not aware of the interdependence or the relationship at all between thoughts and action or if that's happening at all, we're just mindlessly living. And in which case our thoughts and our actions, our thoughts will be guiding our actions just mindlessly, and we're not even aware that the thoughts are subconscious thoughts and our programming will be guiding our actions. We start to become aware of that. It doesn't mean that they have to completely line up all the time. It's just starting to be, have a relationship with the understanding of thoughts and actions and how they work will bring you somewhere deeper into your own reflection of understanding. So to me telling you what is right and wrong, I'm sharing possibilities with you. I'm sharing the possibility that your thought and action can be separate. Sadhguru was talking recently and he was like, it doesn't matter about your intention, it's in the action. And I think he was speaking to one person or one, there's one particular teaching because that action there is, yes, be of service, get out of your shit and be of service is a, a, a definitely a beautiful thing. But we have to actually, for a full beautiful life, we have to understand our intentions and where they're coming from in the first place, why we do anything that we do in the first place. And then once we have that relationship, we can understand, we can see, I, I've, I've wanted to help so many people in my life and they don't want it. They, don't, they, they will not have it. If you ever try to give this work or to give divine truth to somebody that doesn't want it, do not cast your pearls in front of swine. That's a whole nother video. You know, all these things that I've spoken about. It, you will be met with vehement response. As Einstein said, great spirits often encounter violent opposition from mediocre minds. And that sounds a bit judgmental, but it's from minds that can't break free. My whole purpose in this life is to help people free themselves from the strengths of their minds. 
right? That is it. Whether it be through my artistry or through my teaching, whatever it is, is to recognize that you are a prisoner of your own mind. It doesn't mean that you can't take action, right? If you have a, a purpose in your life and you want to defend the, the helpless in some way, right? If you want to help people that are, you know, I saw Harriet Tubman last night, which, which Harriet, which was just, I mean, it's just, it just amazes me. That's a whole nother, speaking of just black and white, right? Literally, of like just the way human beings can treat other human beings is just astounding to me. And then the courage and, and the strength in, in people to actually be pass, actively good for other people is is amazing and, and, the, and the way they can move forward with that right so if you have a, a passion understand that how is that affecting you that might be affecting you and it's tearing you down and limiting you from taking action in some way right so you may want to help people if you want to stop human trafficking there's ways to start doing that instead of just thinking how awful it is and people that are and, and people that are awful right so you can take that action and you can take action full of fucking anger about it and maybe anger is beneficial then it can incite you to action like rage against the machine right the anger can incite you to act into action but if you're going to be angry all the time you're going to be fucking miserable can you take that same action and with an element of an acceptance and so that, it, that that action and our intention are separate and they can be interdependent, but understanding that relationship can actually give us freedom. And then we can take action with freedom from our intention and our thoughts. And it's a whole different world. It just opens up tons of possibilities. I don't think I was clear in this at all, but um, in La Kesha Lakin, I am you, you are me. Namaste. <laughs>